Good to see you back in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. God's still working. He's still doing things. Um, Brother Cody Sparks is still fighting with this stuff that everybody's fighting with, with stuffiness and all what, I'm not sure all what he's dealing with. Let's remember him this morning. And if you could continue to remember Sister Doris, um, she sounded much better, I'd say, night and day from the when we went and saw her on Thursday. Um, so that is good, but now they're talking about doing a surgery for the blood clot. And so this would be, if they do it, it'd be surgery number 87. And she is not happy. <laughs> um, so let's just pray that the Lord will move in a way that she doesn't have to go through that. I know she's tired of being poked and prodded. And we know God is more than able to do that for for nanny this morning she's nanny to everybody here even if you're older than her she's nanny <laughs> amen brother kevin if you could make your way up take us to the lord in prayer this morning so good to be in church anybody have an unspoken request god bless you saints i was just going to give a testimony of my mom and, and thank every each and every one of you for praying for her she is doing real good she uh she actually she got in a little trouble over the weekend she wanted to uh shampoo her carpet and uh and we made some phone calls and got sister lisa on her so uh she she uh got her got in trouble a little bit I, she's get so used to doing stuff when she wants to do it she wants to do it right then and and we told her she needs to take this time and rest and uh so uh, I thank Sister Lisa for calling her. <laughs> she don't listen to us sometimes. So, so I, I, I appreciate each and every one of your prayers for her. She's doing real good throughout all this. Let's go to Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you this morning, Lord. Just feeling your presence as we walk into your house, Lord. We thank you for this gathering, Lord. We thank you for your people this morning to, to have a desire to come to your house, Lord, to, to worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. Oh, God. I pray, oh, God, for each and every request that was called out, Lord. Sister Doris, Lord, I pray for her, Lord. As Brother Brian said, oh, she's the nanny of the church, Lord. I remember she taught me Sunday school, Lord. She has been a soldier of the cross for many years, Lord, and now she is in need of you, Lord, oh, God, to go minister to her right now, Lord. Oh, God, as the church prays and lifts her up, 
Lord, oh God. Oh, God, as they did in the Bible, Lord, they tore the roof off, Lord, and let her down to you, Lord. Oh, God, I pray, oh, God, you'll go to her right now, Lord. Deliver her of whatever she has need of this morning, Lord. Oh, God, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that she'll give you thanks and glory for it all, Lord. And there's other requests that was called out, Lord. Oh, God, Cody fighting the sickness, Lord. I pray, oh, God, you'll touch him this morning, Lord. Each and every one of us, Lord, oh, God, the unspoken request, Lord. You know each and everything about us, Lord. I pray, oh, God, you'll touch each one of us, Lord, this morning, Lord. Walk the aisle among us, Lord. Oh, God, we will not fail to give you the praise and honor and glory, Lord. Oh, I pray for Brother Daniel, Lord. I pray you'll continue the healing in his body, Lord. Oh, God, we're, we want him back in this place, Lord. Oh, God, to li- deliver your word to us, Lord. Oh, God, for he is our pastor, Lord. We hold him up this morning, Lord. Oh, God, do the work that needs to be done in his life, Lord. Oh, God, I pray for Brother Joe, Lord, as he comes this morning, Lord, to speak the bread of life to us, Lord. I pray, oh, God, that you'll get him out of the way, Lord. Oh, God, and you, oh, God, minister to your people this morning, Lord, whatever we have need of, Lord. If it's correction, Lord, oh, God, we receive it, Lord. Oh, God, if it's lifting up, Lord, oh, God, we want to be lifted up, Lord. Whatever we have need of, Lord, you know everything about us, Lord. You know our walk with you, Lord. We know if we need to be, oh, God, corrected. Anything that's wrong, oh, God, that's unlike you, Lord, I pray, oh, God, and you'll show us this morning. Open our eyes, Lord, oh, God, where we can see, oh, Lord. We want to be right, Lord. We want to we want to be judged right now. We don't want to be judged later, Lord. Oh, God, have your way this morning. Bless the remainder of the song service. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And I will lift my hands. You are who you are. No matter where I stand. In every tear I cry. You hold in your hand. By now, God, you would have reached down and wiped our tears away, stepped in and saved the day, and once again, I say amen, and it's still raining, but as the thunder rolls, I bear I'll raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away. Oh, and I will praise you in this storm, and I will lift my hands. You are who you are, no matter where I stand, and every tear I cry. Though my heart is torn, oh, I will praise you in this storm. Oh, I remember when I stumbled in the wind. You heard my cry. My strength is almost gone. How can I carry on if I can't find you? But as the thunder rolls, I barely hear your whisper through the rain. I am with you. Oh, and as your mercy falls, I'll raise. God who gives and takes away. Oh, I will praise you in this storm, and I will lift my hands, for you are who you are, no matter where I am, and every tear I cry, you hold in your hand, you never let Though my heart is torn, I 
song come to my mind and I played it probably didn't get halfway through the song and I told Jessica I said we got to sing that at church and then the next day driving to work I put it in I'm going down the road just bawling just that song just really touched me this week amen let's sing this song as we invite the brothers come receive the morning tithe and offering <coughs> key of D Oh, I've come too far to look back again. Oh, there's nothing behind me. All the pleasures I used to love. Oh, they've all faded from view. There's a new at Calvary, where my new life began. I've come too far to look back. My feet have walked through the valley. I've climbed mountains, crossed Desert places I've known, but I'm nearing the home shore. The redeemed are rejoicing. Heaven's angels. 
angels are singing. I've come too far to look back. Look around, there's unhappiness. Some see no reason for living. Life will give you a break. So if you have a mission offering, just see one of the deacons after service. They already got it in the bag. So um, we'll sing this song. Um, it's a new one. Um, we'll sing this and then ask Brother Joel to have a special for us this morning. Um, key of F. Oh, nothing's too big for my God. No, 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 nothing's too big for my God. I'm not gonna be discouraged, I'm not gonna be depressed. Nothing's too big for God when I'm in His rest. I'm singing, nothing's too big for my God. No, 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 nothing's too big for my God. Well, I'm not gonna be discouraged, I'm not gonna be depressed. Nothing's too God, when I'm in His rest, oh, He's higher than the highest mountain, deeper than the deepest sea. He's stronger than a locomotive, faster than a bullet speed. He's wiser than a man named Webster, eternally deity. You see, nothing's too big for God, no impossibility. I'm singing nothing. For my God, no, 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 nothing's too big for my God. Not gonna be discouraged, I'm not gonna be depressed. Nothing's too big for God when I'm in His rest. Oh, never has there been a problem bigger than my God can solve. Oh, never has there been a question. Baffling the mind of God well, He's given us the power To rise above our enemies Nothing's too big for God No impossibility 
I'm singing nothing too big for my God. No, 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 nothing's too big for my God. Not going to be discouraged, not going to be depressed. Nothing's too big for God when I'm in His rest. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. Amen. You can be seated. Brother Joe out this morning, Kiev. 
Oh, the devil don't like us praising God around here. The devil don't like us praising God around here. We don't care what the devil don't like. We're going to praise and worship our God tonight. The devil don't like us praising God around here. Oh, the devil don't like the word being preached around here. Devil don't like the word being preached around here. We don't care what the devil don't like. We're gonna let the preacher preach all night. Devil don't like the word being preached around here. Oh, the devil don't like us praising God around here. Devil don't like us praising God around here. times we don't feel like coming to church brother Chris but something down inside of us hallelujah I say it a lot but I thank the Lord that he held me when I was ready to give up amen we serve a mighty God go ahead give the hand clap of praise this morning we serve a mighty God it's impossible for him for not to show mercy because he's mercy Hallelujah. It's impossible for my God not to show grace because he's, he's all about grace. Hallelujah. Because that's who he is this morning. He's grace. He's mercy. He's healing. He's our Savior. He's powerful. He's all-knowing. What a mighty God we serve this morning. Amen. Do you love the Lord? Amen. Certainly. Good to be back in Covington, Georgia with you and sure appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, I might not tell you in the swelling words, but I love you. Amen. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope this morning that the Lord just says something to, to bless your heart. This is something that's just been 
kind of burning on my heart for the last few weeks, so just like to share it with you again. We'd like to just pick our thought up. We preached last time here, fighting the good fight of faith. And um, if you would, just, just turn to Bibles before we go to the Lord in prayer. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. We read this last time I was with you. We'll read this and um, allow you to be seated this morning. Good to have my daughter and son along with me, and my grandson Hudson. Uh, it's my little buddy right there. <laughs> Man, just glad to have them with me. They're gonna uh, drive me home this afternoon, and um, my wife can't wait. <laughs> Man, we spaced time with her last night. She's, uh, like I say, a little jealous, I guess. <laughs> Amen. But. Um, that's my little buddy. It's good to have them with us. And I was hoping she would be able to sing this morning, but uh, it seems like just like everybody else this time of year, just uh, throats and sniffles. And I was telling the brother in the back room, I said, that, and, you know, before COVID, it was a sniffles or the, a cough or a sore throat, but now it's uh, COVID. <laughs> so, uh, so if somebody sneezes around you, you know, it's, it's COVID. It's not, a, it's not allergies anymore. So. I don't know what we called it beforehand, but it's, it's, I guess it's COVID now. But God bless you. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12 <clears throat> says, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. Can we bow our hearts this morning? If you've got a need, just make it known to the Lord. I, I think he's... Surely mindful of each and every one of our needs this morning. Lord Jesus, we come to your throne of mercy and grace one more time, Father, this morning. Lord, as we, we heard the songs of Zion, Lord, we felt your presence drop down in this tabernacle this morning. Oh Lord, our hearts are burning within us, Lord, not because this is just another ritual, Lord, or another church service, Lord. But this is the day that you have made, Lord. And we've come together, our licks of fire together against a common enemy, Father. Lord, and we're wanting to rally around your precious word this morning. Lord, knowing, Lord God, that heaven and earth could pass away, but your word shall never pass away. It can never return void, Lord. Lord, we want to draw confidence this morning, not from a song, Lord, not from a funny feeling or emotion, Lord, but we want to draw strength from you this morning. Lord God, that we could draw strength for the journey, the next battle, the next hardship, Father. Lord, this morning we pray that you anoint each and every one of our ears to hear, Lord. Lord, and allow the Spirit to drop down in this house this morning. Lord, and heal the sick and afflicted, Lord. Lord, we commit this service into your hands, Lord. We believe that you have it all in control. Lord, we're going to yield this vessel one more time to you. Lord, speak your word to your people this morning, we pray. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen. God bless you. You can have your seats this morning. I'd like to start this morning here. Brother Brandon was talking about faith, and he says, God gives you faith, gives you faith. Can you say with you with me this morning? Yes. Now say me. Yes. God gives you faith. To rise, to be lifted up, or to be elevated from the muck of the earth. Your faith, not a church, not a, uh, your brother or sister, not your mom and dad, but your faith overcomes the things of the world. He says, what is your faith? He says, your faith is the act that God has did in you to make you a son and daughter of God. Or son of God. You quit your lying. You quit your stealing, you quit your drinking because your faith raises you above it. Praise the Lord. And he goes on, he says, as much as your faith will be released, that's how much power you can have. And catch this this morning, because in you dwells the power to make heavens and earth. In you dwells the power to make heavens and earth. He, why? Because he said, God dwells in you. And you are sons and daughters of God. He said, there you are, but it's your faith. And according, Jesus says, according to your faith, bid it unto you. 
Amen. So within you this morning, amen, is a strength or the ability to create a world and go live on it. Amen. Amen. So God gives you the faith to rise above the muck of this tabernacle, faith to overcome the world, faith to overcome bitterness, faith to overcome the trials of this life. Amen. So as much faith will be released, that's how much power you can have this morning. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. So he goes on. He says, he said, when you catch that faith that you're going to be healed, every circumstance, everything else, all symptoms can point that you're dying. You'll never move. It's a resting place of the sanctuary of God's word. Faith makes the word of God the sanctuary of his eternal rest. Amen. He goes on. He says, when faith sets itself there, he said, not hope, but faith. Hope is on out here, hoping it was in, but faith is already in. Looking out, saying it's done. The battle's already over. The victory has been won. Amen. He said, there it is. Faith takes its resting place, for it knows that God will never let the enemy right over the top of me. Can you say amen about that this morning? God will never, never let the enemy ride over the top of him. Faith makes the word of God the sanctuary of his eternal rest. Faith refuses the devil's lies. I say I encourage you this morning just to keep believing regardless of how you feel. Keep pressing the battle. Brother Brown would preach a message, perseverance, and he would use the very scripture I'm about to read in Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. And he said, Behold, a woman came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. He said, But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and beside him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. He said, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. And we believe, Brother Brown said, the right mental attitude to the divine promises of God will bring it to pass. Amen. She was rejected, but she came and worshipped. Amen. Brother Brown would say things like this in the same message. Hey, Ben, he said, just because they didn't call my name, just because, hey, Ben, the minister didn't mention my name. Hey, Ben, he said, the way up is down. Hey, Ben, humility is the secret to power. The way up is down. Hey, Ben, so when she was totally rejected, she didn't give up, she didn't give in. And you catch these words we're about to read it, 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 because it's the right mental attitude, the divine promises of God. She had many hindrances. Amen. Can you say amen? amen. Brother Ram said she had many hindrances. But her faith didn't have any. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we, she was rejected, no doubt her emotions ran away with herself. No doubt she was thinking the same things, thoughts that we think when we are rejected. But down inside of this lady, amen, was a faith that couldn't be rejected. Because hope's out here hoping it has it. But faith is already on the inside looking out. And it's found the sanctuary of God's eternal word. Amen. He knows the battle is already over. Amen. So if we, not, if we learn not to walk by sight or feelings or emotions, but walk by faith. Amen. Regardless of circumstances. Amen. She, she came to worship. She said, oh, Lord, help me. I need your strength this morning. I need your healing this morning. I need to feel the touch of the master this morning. Amen. We all need that from the pulpit to the back door. We all need a touch from the Lord this morning. Amen. Though I'm ministering this morning, I need a touch from the master this morning. Amen. So she might have been rattled, but her faith was never shaken. She said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. Then Jesus said unto a woman, Great is thy faith. 
Hallelujah. Amen. For great is thy faith fitted unto thee, even as thou wilt. And our daughter was made whole from that very moment. And Brother Bell said she was, she was, she was persistent. Perseverant means persistent to a goal. Hey, Ben, she wasn't looking to the left or right. She wasn't heeding to her feelings or emotions. She was looking and walking by faith. Hey, Ben, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hey, Ben, she took hold by faith and she walked perseverant, hey, Ben, regardless of feelings. And the problem of God would say it like this. He said, don't turn it loose. God promised it, amen, and she was shoved out, she was shoved back, she was put outside, she, she was, but she was still determined. She was persistent, she was perseverant, something on the inside of her, amen, it told her that she was going to get it regardless how long it took. Are you hearing me, somebody? God gives you faith to rise above the muck of the world. Hey, but how much uh, uh, faith or how much power you have is how much faith is going to be released out of you this morning. Amen. You believe it? Amen. Amen. So how long she had to wait, what she had to go through. Amen. She was going to get it in hell. Amen. Because she wouldn't turn it loose. She was rejected, Brother Mike. Amen. But she still said, hey, Lord, I, I need your help. I come to worship you this morning. My body is failing me, but Lord, I've come to lift up my hands and worship you. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, the devil don't like no praising God around here. Well, I don't care what the devil don't like. I didn't come to make him feel good. Come on, somebody. I came to worship my God. Hey, but why? Because he's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He's the peace of all peace. He's joy unspeakable and full of glory. He's all love. He's all grace. He's all mercy. He's all knowing. He's ever present. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when a man or woman sees it's anchored in them, he, Brother Brown said, they've got faith. Amen. They can rejoice. Yes, Come on, it's freedom this morning. Yes, hey, Ben, when, they got, when it's anchored inside your heart, hey, Ben, that's faith. That's hey, Ben, and you can rejoice. Just as you got the quarter in your hand, go ahead, rejoice. Extra, extra, read all about it. Praise God, I'm healed. Go ahead and rejoice. I don't feel any better, but hope's on the outside looking in. But that faith that you have down inside of you is echoing out. It's already done. Go ahead and lift your hands. Go ahead and clap your hands. Go ahead and worship the Lord. Go ahead and praise the God. The battle's already over. The victory. I'll praise Him through the storm. Why? Because there's an anchor of faith in our heart that goes beyond our feelings. That brother sung the song. I'm here to tell you. Hey, Ben, that song echoed in my heart, brother. Hey, Ben, when I was going through my Gethsemane. Hey, Ben, when I felt like giving up. When I felt like quitting. Hey, Ben, but that song kept elevating in my heart. I'll praise you in the storm. I'll praise you in the hardship. I'll praise you in my grief. I'll praise you in my sorrow. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. It has nothing to do with what's going on with, around us. It ain't what we're going through. It's about what he did that day at Calvary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan doesn't want you to hear it, but let it echo loud and clear. Our Lord and Savior said it is finished. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you love the Lord this morning? And he said, that's faith. They can rejoice. He said, I don't care what your hand says. I don't care how sick you are. You're, you still believe it. You're persistent. There is nothing going to stop you. 
Hallelujah. He said, you got it? I don't care. He said, 10,000 doctors could stand and say you're dying. You'll just laugh at them. You'll walk right over the top of it. Yes, if it's real. And it'll happen. Faith holds it. Faith holds it and wields it. The word will just simply means to deal successfully with. Or exhort one's authority. Come on, somebody. Hey, Ben, when that old mule died and Samson picked up a dry drawbone of a mule and he stuck it in his hands and he felt the covenant on the back of his neck there, hey, Ben, he knew. He knew it wasn't his ability. And he took an oct- or a jawbone of a mule and fought the good fight of faith. Brother Brown says every symptom's gone. Fight to every doubt is gone. Amen. And he said, take the jawbone and knock him out. Knock out every doubt in your life, every fear, every depression, every funny feeling. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm going to get to it in a minute. Hey, ben, hey, hey, I feel good this morning. Hey, ben, God's word is true. This is just not a, just another sermon. But this is reality of God's word that he placed in you sisters. He placed in you young men. An element of faith. The very element. That he created the world. And Brother Brown said it shook into existence. It's the same faith that lives in you and I this morning. That it has the power to create a world and go live on it. Faith holds it and wields it. It deals successfully with or exhort one's authority. And Jesus said unto them, and Matthew said, Because you're of your unbelief, verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of the mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, You shall say, You shall exhort your thor- one's authority, and remove hence than yonder place, and it shall, shall means must and can, be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. When faith really takes a hold, nothing else can stand. Amen, Brother Brown. uh, The scripture says, by faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. Amen, when faith takes a hold, nothing else can stand. And if you believe it, if you believe it, to believe it, it, it creates a substance. And substance generates a perfect faith. And perfect faith masters every circumstance. Hallelujah. Faith says I'm healed. You feel that this morning? Faith says I'm healed. Just keep walking on. God will take care of the Philistines. Amen. Faith says you're healed. A Philistine in our in our journey, because Philistines means an intruder. Or an invader. One that doesn't have the right or authority to be there. Hallelujah. Amen. So he says here, he says, if your faith says you're healed, you don't have to feel it, just keep walking by faith. God will take care of the intruders or the invaders. Don't you worry. See, the children of Israel just had to walk with God. God done the opening of the sea. Amen. He said when they wanted to go back to Egypt. But Moses said keep pressing the battle. Amen. When one of those uh, servants stepped over into the water. The water departed. It ain't our business how it opens up. It ain't up to us how how we overcome it. Our business is take God at his word. And walk by faith and not by sight. Brother Brown said it's God's business to open.
open up the sea. Amen. Hebrews tells us, wherefore sin we also could pass about with such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. That sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run. Hallelujah. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Look in the way to your present condition and to another thing. Let us run. If you're already born in the kingdom of God, you've already got the Holy Spirit in you. The only thing you had to do is cut loose from these things of the world that's holding you down. Are you hearing me, somebody? Let us lay aside what we're trying to do this morning. Let us run. Let us run this race of endurance. Amen. Cut loose. Let us lay aside every weight. Let us run this race with patience. The life, the race that is set before us. Lay aside these weights. <clears throat> Amen. And Brother Brown would say it like this. Amen. We don't need to pack up to go to glory. We need to start unpacking. Because we're running a race. Hallelujah. We don't need no added weight. And Paul would begin to say, run the race. Tells us to let us run the race. Let's begin to let off these things so easily besets us. Let's shake them off this morning. Let's let it go. Let's cut loose of the things that's keeping us bound and bitter and unhappy. Let's begin to cut off the worldliness. Let's be cut, begin to cut off the funny feelings. Let's begin to cut off hatred. Because there's something in your life that Satan knows that that very thing that makes you upset, makes you bitter, makes you hatred. And Satan is sly. And he'll come and add such a weight. And at first you don't really, you know, you can't hardly tell that you're even carrying the load. But what it will do over time, amen, and begin to build upon it and build. And before you know it, you can't even lift your hands in church anymore. Before you know it, you can't even shake the pastor's hand anymore. Amen. Before you know it, your prayer life is dwindling down. Before you know it, you're not reading your Bible anymore. You're not fellowshipping anymore. Well, preach, Brother Joe, I believe I am this morning. Amen. What is it? It's weights that Satan is trying to place on you. Doesn't make you any less of a Christian. But let, let, me, let me bring some good news. You don't have to carry that weight any longer. Brother Brown said, cut loose. Of the weight. Let's unpack this morning. Lay aside these weights. When the devil begins to tell us to slow down. There's no sense of getting excited. There's no sense of praising God. There's no sense of worshiping this morning. Devil, I got some troubling news for you. I got some troubling news for you and all of hell. I'm just warming up. Hallelujah. I'm just warming up this morning. I'm not stopping. I'm not retreating. I'm not giving up. I'm not slowing down. I'm going to run this race this morning. Even Blind Bartimaeus had to unpack before he got to Jesus. But when he got to Jesus, he said, Thy faith has made thee whole. Yes, you want a blessing, but you don't want to unpack. I'm here to tell you, hey Ben, if you want a blessing, it's time to unpack these feelings, these emotions, these memories. But what we need some some good brothers or sisters to hold one one another up in the midst of a battle. One that's starting to slow down. Ain't a time to beat them more. Thank 
Maybe we say, hey, brother. Hey, sister. I know you've been going through a hardship. But you're going to the other side. He or she might say, in a slow kind of way, How do you know, Brother Joe? <coughs> Jesus said, you're going to the other side. Amen. Hell can't stop us. Churches can't stop us. Government can't silence us. I am not retreating. I'm not giving up. I'm not quitting. I'm just warming up. Church, there's a bride somewhere. Hey, Ben, it's beginning to unpack like never before. Hey, Ben, why? Hey, Ben, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Hey, Ben, it's a rising of the sun in our life. And we feel the dawning of that new day. Hey, Ben, we're getting closer and closer from changing from mortal to immortality. Hallelujah. And the preacher is screaming it out. Cut loose. You don't have to carry that load. Johnny Crow, you're free this morning. Quit pretending you're still tied up. You're free this morning, Johnny Crow. Hey, man, go ahead, run, Johnny. Go ahead, Johnny, run. Take off and shout the victory. Listen, Johnny. You're justified as though you've never done it in the first place. Go ahead. Let go and run this morning. Don't stop, Brother Brown said. Keep moving on. Don't stop. Keep moving on. He said that's what the church needs tonight. It don't, it don't stop for these intellectual classic prides. It's keep moving on. And the Holy Ghost just keep pressing on. God's going to open the sea. God's going to open the sea for you. Hey, but just keep pressing the battle. Let us run. It's God's business to carry us and open up the sea. It's God's business. Hey, bet when the three Hebrew Jews stepped over into the fiery flames that he was there. I'm telling you, he's right there by you. I don't care if you feel him or not. My God is present this morning. He's all knowing. He's all present. He's all powerful. Amen. Amen. Just keep pressing on. Philippians 3 and 13 says, Brother, I count not myself to apprehend, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are I press, I press, press is a struggle or a battle that's a lot of times not easy. I press toward the mark of the prize. You can't be pre have perseverance unless you be persistent to a goal. So Paul's telling Philippian church, press toward the mark. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And begin to walk toward that prize. And begin to shake off these weights of unbelief. And don't stop. Victory is in range. What are you doing preacher this morning? I'm trying to get you willing and, and able to run this morning. I say it's the last lap. Well, there's no more ages to come. Hey, Ben, this is it, church. There's not another prophet to come. He's already came. He's already brought a message from the throne. This is the evening time. This is harvest season. This is rapture season. This is body change season. It's the last lap. You're tired. We're weary. We're broken down. 
This body's going back to the earth where it came from. But we're traveling by faith in this earthly pilgrim journey. And this last lap, it does something to a runner. Come on, somebody. You, be, you could be running a, 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 a five-mile K or 10-mile, whatever you're running. You might be running a 40-meter dash. But it's something about when you get to that last lap, that last corner, that last stretch. Doesn't matter who's behind you. You begin to forget about who's in the stands. You begin to forget about who's against you, who's for you. All you've got is the finish line in sight. Hey, Ben, and something comes over you. Hey, Ben, you begin to give everything you got because there's not another lap. There's not another time. This is it. And that runner begins to give everything he's got. Amen. 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 He don't care the runner beside him. He's running with everything in him because his eyes is on the prize. Ain't it strange how Paul would reference this great battle, this fight of faith with a race. Hallelujah. And then he would tell him, forgetting those things are behind. The doctor says, you, you got cancer. Brother Brown said, just go forward. The devil says, you can't give this up. Go forward. Amen. He said, there's no retreating back. Speak the word and go forward. Thus saith the Lord and move on. God let us get that way. He said he brought Israel right into the trap. Mountain and deserts on both sides. Pharaoh's army pursuing thousands of chariots and spears. Bunch of humble little poor slaves. Not armed with nothing, come down a dead sea. Red Sea says, rather, right down to the banks here was the dust of the chariots coming. And here was the mountains on either side, no way. It looked like God was a bad military man. Left his people with no retreat. Sometimes he does that. Let the doctor walk away and say you ain't going to live. You're going to die. That cancer's going to kill you. You'll never get out of that chair. It seemed like it leaves you with no retreat. But, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. Amen. a conjunction with a difference. In other words, this, uh, it's going to make everything before him relevant. But he is your retreat. The righteous. Come on, somebody preach with me. The righteous what? Walks. Whoever said that, God bless your soul this morning. The righteous run into and are safe. Forget those things which are behind. Don't worry about your past. Past means gone by in time and no longer in existing. And Paul would say, don't tend to them things. Press to the mark. Let all the ways that so easily beset you. We can't live in our past. And expect to be an overcomer in the present. We got to let go of the past. And live in the present. Knowing who holds our future. Satan will try to hold you in your past. Because if he knows if he's holding you in the past. You're not embracing your present. It's the truth. Never let your past define who you are. Let us define our past with our testimony. I'm going all the way this morning. <laughs> Amen. Let us run. Let us run. Let us run. There came a time when the woman at the well came in contact with Jesus. She had a past. She was living in her past until Jesus came by. She, he became her present and her future. Hallelujah. That's the way it is this morning. If, you, if, if something or somebody is reminding you of your past, listen, friends. No, the blood never reminds you of your past. It's only reminding you of your innocence. You've never done it in the first place. Don't entertain those thoughts. 
Don't entertain the thought of your past because you're not living there any longer. Amen. Gone by in time, no longer in existence. You're not the same person. The woman at the well came with a, in a bad situation. Married five times, and the one that she lived with wasn't her own. Hey, Ben, but Jesus had need to pass by Samaria. Hey, Ben, this was her opportunity. Oh, hallelujah. You might have to go through a lot of opposition to get to him this morning, but keep crawling. Keep making your way. The woman with an issue of blood, Brother Brown said she lived way up on the mountain. Hey, Ben, she heard Jesus was passing by. Hey, Ben, she, she's been a doctor at the doctor. No chance of ever getting over her blood issues she had for 12 long years. But he said she began to crawl. And she would crawl and she would look up and see if Jesus was still there and take off again. And she kept crawling. Let me tell you, Jesus wasn't leaving. Why? Because it was her predestinated moment of time. She began to unpack feelings, emotions. Hey, but didn't care what anybody else said. Hey, but she crawled her way. Hey, Ben, listen, friends. Running might not be on your feet this morning, but run to him. It's crawling through all opposition, breaking through every barrier of unbelief. I say you can do it this morning. Amen. Let us run. Deuteronomy says, And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him, In the sight of Israel be strong and good courage. For thou must go with the people into the land which the Lord has sworn unto the fathers to give them. And thou shalt cause them to inherit it. And the Lord, he, is, he that do go before thee, he will be with thee. Even will he will not fail thee nor forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. Doesn't say anything about your past. The emphasis is on the present and the future. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. Richly may superior to what you you're succeeding. Your past is the past. And now you stand as though you've never done it in the first place. Let us run. This is new life. This is new strength. This is new endurance. You couldn't do it at one time. But now you can. Because greater is he that is in you. Than the he that's in the world. Hallelujah. And the scripture would say something like this. Remember. Not the former things. Need to consider the things of old. You believe it? Paul would say, forgetting those things are behind. <laughs> Corinthians would tell us, therefore if man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Isaiah would tell her, remember, ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it, shall, now it shall spring forth, and you shall know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. Amen. Let's don't just, uh, just accept the devil's lies this morning. If the devil's speaking to you this morning, he's lying. He's only wanting you to disbelieve God's word. And Brother Brown would say like this. He says, hey, Ben, if you get a box of rattlesnakes in the mail, hey, Ben, you don't have to accept them. But he said, but, but your name's on it. He said, but you don't have to accept it. But until you take them and sign for them, they go back to the express company until you sign for them. And Brother Ram would say, just like this, don't sign nothing for the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't sign nothing for the devil. Just refuse it. Take it back. If you won't testify that you got it, when you testify you still have your signet, the devil keeps it with it. Hallelujah. Listen, he says, if you testify of your sickness, you've still got it. When you testify, you still have your sickness. The devil keeps it with you. But refuse to testify of it. 
say, I won't have it. No, sir. That's when you're getting faith. Give your faith a chance. Turn it loose. Unbridle it. In other words, let it loose. The more you release it, the more power you're going to have. Unbridle it. You kept it for so long, but he's in challenge you. If you want freedom this morning. Well, I do, Brother Joe. Thank you, brother. How many wants healing this morning? Praise God. How many wants your family members healed this morning? Praise God. How many would like to see their children saved this morning? Praise God. So when that old devil comes back with those box of rattlesnakes, refuse them. I don't care if your name's written all over it. Brother Brown said in the quote earlier, I don't care if 10,000 doctors told you that she's going to die. Faith finds its resting place in the eternal word of God. I'm healed. If that sickness takes your life, even when you're in it declaring victory and faith, it still didn't destroy you. Say, Brother Joe, why if I die of cancer and I was standing on God's word and I kept the faith I was staying true to my, my testimony. Praise God, I'm healed. Praise God, I'm healed. Say, Brother Joe, what happens if I die? Brother, thank you. Death doesn't change anything. I say you fought the good fight of faith and you kept it. Hallelujah. Because there's going to come a shout and a voice of an archangel and a trump of God. And there ain't no grave going to hold that body down. Why? Because you kept the faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't accept it. Just refuse it. Turn it loose. Unbridle it. To be free or loose from it. He says, let it work. In other words, it will. The problem is, we hold on to it. The power of this law is, Brother Chris, the more we let go. Come on, somebody. How many's carried a heavy burden before? Well, two or three of you. God bless your souls. <laughs> Rest of you. How many's carried a lion spirit? There we go. <laughs> Amen. We all carried heavy burdens. But how good was it? When you was able to lay that burden down and walk away from that burden. I tell you exactly how it feels. It's just like that man that gets out of prison. And they open the jail cell, give him his suit of clothes. And he walks away as a free man. The burden's been lifted. It'll work. He said, you got it all bound down with traditions. Turn it loose. Cut it loose. Let God have his way with you. Refuse to sign for it. Testify what you believe. Well, I had a stomach. I, when I, he said, when I had a stomach trouble, so bad to the doctor, said there's no hope or not. He said, that was males too, accepting him upon the scripture. He said, he's the high priest of my confession. He said, I refuse to testify anymore, nothing but what God says. I believe his word. Jesus died to heal us. When I started to eat, he said, I swallowed that first mouthful. He said, the doctor said, one mouthful. Hey, hey, uh, boy, you'll die right now. Oh, he said, and I ate beans and cornbread and onions. Yes, sir. I took it and asked the blessing over and got it in my mouth and chewed it up and swallowed it. And the devil said, you'll die. And here it come right back up. And I held my hand over my mouth and swallowed it back down. He said, no, sir, I refuse. Yes, sir. Somebody's right. Either what my system said or what God said. Let the God that answered with fire, let him be God. He says somebody is going to be right. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I went out on the street and hot water running down my mouth. I was singing. Come on, somebody. Even when he was rejected, she came and worshiped. 
Lord, I need your help. And when he felt the hot water coming back up in his throat, the very thing the doctor said would happen, he went outside and began to sing a song. I don't care about the devil. I'm going to praise him with all of my mind. The devil don't like me standing on God's word. The devil don't like us testifying about God's riches and mercy and grace and healing and salvation. He wants us to live defeated. I'm telling you, we're on the last lap. Hey, but I see you. Listen, brother. Hey, but I'm screaming out to you this morning. Run! Run with everything that's in you. This world has fallen apart. Keep running. Keep pressing the battle. Keep singing the songs. He said, I was singing, I can. I will. I do believe that Jesus heals me now. Someone said, how you feeling? I said, wonderful. Come on, somebody. Well, I can say I, I'm preaching to myself right now. Amen. He says, how do you feel, Brother Brown? I said, wonderful. You healed? Sure. How you feeling? Fine. Anything wrong? Nothing. I'm here to tell you, church, this is just not words. Brother Brown was unpacking. He was refusing. He's unpacking. He's preparing himself for rain. He's preparing himself for victory. He's preparing himself for healing. And he said, are you here? Sure. I stayed right with it day after day, week after week. I was healed one morning. I believed him. I took him at his word. Nobody ever cast it away from me. But the word said so. And the word of God would defeat Satan any place, any time, anywhere, in any condition. That's right. That's what it is. It's God's word. Heavens and earth will pass away. But my word shall never, never fail. Believe it. Don't be discouraged. Run. That scripture will say it like this. Let us not be weary in well-doing. Don't be weary in well-doing. How you feeling, Brother Branham? Fine. Don't be weary in well-doing. Are you sick? No, I'm healed. Are you down? No, I'm blessed. My children was making pumpkin rolls here the last several months and back home and and uh, my principal superintendent, well up in age now, he, he called me and kind of reminded me of this. But he, uh, he, he said, man, I tried some of your daughter's pumpkin roll at the store down there. And he said, I, I'd like to buy three of them. I said, okay. So they fixed them, brought them to him. And when they brought them to the door, my daughter walked up to the house. And he said, you know, no matter what you're going through, say you are blessed. So it's been a thing on a fan bam chat. When we're going through the battle, I'll say, I am blessed. Amen. When you feel sick, oh, praise God, I'm blessed. Amen. In the mouth of some nominal Christian that's living everything that he can. Amen. Blessed are your ears this morning, church, that you know. Amen. But thank God that not everybody that don't know what we know is going to hell. They might not go into rapture, amen, but they're still good men that's going to live their life with all they know and all they can. Because there's going to be a multitude, a multitude outside the city. Hallelujah. I told the church back home just a few weeks ago, I said our job is not to cram it down people's throat, but our job is to be salty. If it's there, it'll come. If it's not, be salty so they won't refuse it. Amen. They won't reject it. Amen. But they'll continue on life. Amen. Church, people come and go. Every church, I'm sure your brother Daniel has it here. He has people coming and going. But you have those that's faithful, dependable, never swayed, never leaves. 
What's, what's wrong with the other people? Not that they're just bad people. Maybe they just can't see it. Maybe they're not predestinated to see it. But they lived a life. Maybe they go out and, and they go out and live a good life somewhere. But you're salty. Maybe they can't see what you see, but they maybe want to live a good life like you live. I don't know. That's maybe free to somebody this morning. But let us not be weary in well-doing. For I love this scripture when I seen it the other day. You know, it's, it's neat how, how that it, uh, we hear things, hear things, hear things. But sometimes it just rings true in our hearts in a way. For in due season, not when we want it. Not when you pray. Brother Brandon, if you're watching, he said day after day, <clears throat> week after week. But one morning, I was healed. Hallelujah. Let us not be weary in well-doing. Well, my kids are not serving God. Don't be weary in well-doing. You claim them. You give them to God. You lift them up. You be salty. You love them. You be kind to them. For in due season, we shall. Can you say shall with me this morning? Not we might or could. But he said, but for in due season, we shall reap. Reap means to receive it. Reap means the, 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 uh, to harvest the crop. To receive what you was claiming. Don't be weary and well-doing in due season. In God's timing. In predestinated moment of time. You're going to reap. But Chris, listen to what this scripture says. If we faint not. If we don't slow down. Keep running. Can I have some runners this morning? Keep running. Endurance. Holding out in the face of opposition. Faint not. He that endured to the end shall be saved. Just keep looking on. Keep moving. God knows what he's doing. He let the Hebrew children walk right to it. Brother Brown says, he let them walk right into the fiery furnace before he ever turned a page over to write a new article. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Don't, don't faint. Don't be weary and well done, Hebrew children. But in due season... You will reap if you faint not. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're coming up the, up the king's highway. Just keep looking and pressing just as hard as you can. Brother Brown says, run, run, run. Just keep looking up. Pressing just as hard as you can. Run, run, run. Just as hard as you can. Don't stop for nothing. Just keep on going. Don't quit. Keep pressing the battle. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, Satan begins to bring you and throw things at you. Everything in your way to try to slow you down. Get up. Shake it off. Are you healed? Amen. Are you happy? Praise the Lord. Are you one of them? I'm one of them. Don't give up. Go ahead, give the Lord some praise. Come on, somebody. Because when you wake up in the morning, Satan is going to be there. He's going to talk to you. He's going to try to discourage you. You're going to get a phone call. Somebody's going to talk about your brother or sister. Hey, Ben, something's going to transpire. Why is Satan trying to add weight? He's trying to slow us down. But I challenge you this morning. I encourage you. Maybe that's a better word this morning. I encourage you this morning. When you wake up tomorrow. Go ahead and shake that right off. And begin to give Lord praise. Come on somebody. Let's try it.
When you wake up in the morning and you feel that old pain, go ahead and lift your hands up to him. You feel that funny feeling, just go ahead and lift your hand up. Lift your head up high and say, Hallelujah anyhow. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I praise your name. I lift you up. Oh, hallelujah, church. We're running this race. Hey, Ben, we're not going to be weary and well-doing. Satan, you might have been knocking me down for months and years, but today is a day. I'm not going to be weary and well-doing no longer. I'm running this race with patience. What a virtue. Amen. Glory. I'm going to praise you. Glory. I'm going to give you honor. I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to worship you. We're preparing for a blessing. We're preparing for a rapture. Shaking it off. When you die out to yourself. Brother Bram said a new picture. I'm fixing clothes. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you always got that one. <laughs> Everybody else belly's growling, but you always got that one. <laughs> hey, that's all a preacher needs. <laughs> We're not looking for everybody's approval. We're just looking for that one. So go ahead and preach, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me smile anyhow. So when you die to yourself, a new picture starts on the inside. He said, then that new creature, Christ Jesus, begins to show itself through. And one of these days, he will come and receive you up to himself. Then the whole thing will be changed. As the negative shadow will become a positive. Those that kept the faith. Therefore, when this positive becomes closer to the negative, the negative is swallowed up. And the positive. Are you hearing me somebody this morning? Amen. Therefore when the positive becomes closer to the negative. The negative is swallowed up of the positive. Listen it's impossible for the positive to be swallowed up from the negative. It's impossible for the darkness to swallow up light. Light will always have dominance over the darkness. Hallelujah. So darkness can't swallow up light, but light can swallow up the darkness. So when Paul would say, when this corruption shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall it be brought to pass the saying, that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. This is just not words. Listen to this. Oh, death. Where is thy sting? <laughs> I don't believe them were just words. I believe the positive was swallowing up the negative. Oh, death, where is thy victory? Oh, great, where is thy victory? Hallelujah. Brother Branham's testimony was this. That positive, that positive testimony will begin to swallow up the negative. Your positive confession, extra, extra, read all about it. Praise God, I'm healed. Blind, there, blind, that uh, Ryan, what's the name, John Ryan? Confessing, praise God, I'm healed. Praise God, I'm healed. Extra, extra, read all about it. I'm healed. John, you're still blind. Praise God, I'm healed. Praise God, I'm healed. John, you can't see. Praise God, I'm healed. I'm glad you let me know that, but praise God, I'm healed. I'm not walking by way I can see with my natural eyes. But that positive that John began to generate, that he believed it. And that believing is the substance. And that substance begins to generate a perfect faith. John didn't care if he could see with his natural eyes or not at that moment. John was looking at the unseen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that positive confession, as he got near the positive, that negative blinding sight that he had, 
begin to be swallowed up in victory. Hallelujah. When he was sitting in the barber chair, they was making fun of him. The, the town was making fun of him. He was an outcast. Thank God we still have some outcast. Amen. Hallelujah. But one day in the barber chair, they said it at the wrong time, at the wrong, wrong place. And John testified of it one more time. All the weights of unbelief was off. He was breaking the barriers of unbelief. Listen, friends. He was trapped in humanity. He still had the same thoughts that you and I have. But he confessed something that he was thinking different than what he was thinking. His flesh said, John, you're, you're blind. But his faith said, John, you're healed. John, you're blind. John, you're healed. And he began to testify. This is fresh this morning. It's all free. Brother, whoever said that, don't count that to that part you said, go ahead and preach. <laughs> but he kept confessing that. And that began to deafen the noise of the flesh. It began to take control to a place John began to believe it under. In, it didn't matter how long it went. It was getting closer and closer. He was getting more generated. He was going to get more enthusiastic. John, settle down. You're blind. The barber said, no, brother, you, you'll never see, John. You're blind. You're born that way. You had no eyes in the, in the sockets, John. That confession came out of his mouth one more time. Lord, even the dog ate the crumbs from the master's table. Praise God, I'm healed. And that positive, he was so close to the positive, it swallowed up the negative. And eyes begin to form in his, his, uh, his socket, dry sockets. Hallelujah. And we know the rest of the story. He went out of that barber chair, had the apron still tied around him, shouting the victory, I'm healed. I can see. I once was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. Amen. That darkness, that negative swallowed up of the positive. That's exactly the way this body change is going to be. We're going to keep unloading, unpacking. We're going to keep running, unpacking, keep running. We're going to get so close to that positive. That positive is going to swallow up the negative. We're going to be changed in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. This body is going to change from mortal to immortality. Do you love him? Amen. He said when we feel like that we're going through the great time of distress and trials, perplexity of time, distress between the nations, and all kinds of things happening, he says, sometimes I get engulfed everywhere I look. It's like on a ship out on the sea. I've been charged over the boat. How are you going to make it? Here comes one white cap, 100 times bigger than your ship. But we'll crest them. We are more than victors through him. The captain, the chief captain has got a hold of the string on the other end of the ship. He'll pull it through. We'll crest every one of them. We'll go right over the top of them. Yes, indeed. They can't seek us. They can't drown us. You put us in a grave, we'll come out again. That's just all there is to it. There ain't no way in the world to keep you down there. Amen. We'll crest every one of them. Because our great chief captain is calling on the other side. Amen. And he's pulling us. Do you feel the pull this morning? Amen. Regardless of your feelings, 
Let us not weary in well-doing. For in due season, God will bring it to pass. Do you believe it? Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of eternal life. Whereunto thou art called and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. Let us run. Let us run. Let us run. Don't feel like it? I Let us run this morning. Shake it off this morning. If your arm's been heavy and you can't praise God, go ahead and shake it off this morning. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the Lord. How you feel this morning? I'm fine. Are you healed? Yes, praise God, I'm healed. Your family coming home? They're coming home. Praise God, extra, extra. Don't be weary and well doing. Take God at his word. That's what faith does as the music plays will come. That's what faith does for the mic. Faith. Regardless how you feel, doesn't matter what you think, faith takes its resting place in the Word of God. It's a sanctuary. Hallelujah. When your flesh says no, faith says yes. When your world says no, your faith says yes. I can. I will. I do believe. Is that what he said? Because God said so. God said so. Do you love him this morning? I, I encourage you this morning. Don't be weary in well doing. He said, Brother Joe, I've been through so much. So have I. Brother Joe, I've been tested and tried. Yeah. So have I. But the beauty of it is, he's right there with you. Amen. So, Brother Joe, I don't feel him. Has nothing to do with feelings. He's right there by your side. When you couldn't help yourself, he was right there by your side. When you couldn't say a prayer, he was right there by your side. For he said, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you. Just keep the faith. Keep pressing the battle. If you don't see the results you don't, you've been wanting to see, just go ahead and give the Lord praise. Amen. Say, Lord, I'm not going to be weary and well-doing. He's coming home. He's going to be there. He's going to stand right here by my side. He's going to be healed. He's going to be delivered. Why? Because God said so. Amen. And faith takes His resting place in the Word of God. And speaks from that. Because faith's on the inside looking out. It's already done. The battle is already over. The victory has been won. Can we stand to our feet this morning? Take a hold of faith. Don't turn it loose this morning. Hold on to the promise. Don't testify for the devil this morning, but testify from God's eternal word. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. They shall run and not be weary. Oh, praise God. They shall walk and not faint. And teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Oh, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew. Let it go. 
every family. Lord, bless, bless the saints here, Lord. Strengthen our, my dear friend, Brother Daniel, Lord. Such a man of God. Lord, I pray to God that you do something special for him today. Lord, encourage him and his family and his church here, Lord God. We'll commit these things into your hands this morning. In Jesus Christ's wonderful name. And the bride says, can you give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning? God and the Father is God and the Son. Well, He's God in the Father. He's God in the Son. He's God in the Holy Ghost. He's got all three in one. I know God is God. God don't never change. I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's got it. God back at the door, God in the amen corner, he's God all over the floor, I know God is God, God don't never change, I know God is God, and Jesus is his name, he's God when the lightning flashes, God when the thunder rolls, God way up in heaven, yes he's God down in my soul, I know God. 
God is God. God don't never change, I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God of the first. He's God of the last. He's God of my future because He's God of my past. I know God is God. God don't never change, I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God if you love Him. He's God if you don't. He's God if you serve Him. Yes, He's God if you won't. I know God is God. God don't never change, I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God in the fiery furnace. God in the Roman jail. He's God of His whole creation. Oh, He's God that'll save me from hell. I know God is God. God don't never change. I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God in the middle of the ocean. God in the middle of the sea. By the help of the great Creator. Oh, He's God to me, I know God is God. God don't never change, I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God that heals my body. He's God that saves my soul. He's God of my confession and He's God that makes me whole. I know God is God. God don't never change, I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God that cleansed the leper. He's God that raised the dead. And if you'll take Him at His word, He'll do just what He said. I know God is God. God don't never change. I know God is God. And Jesus is His name. He's God who paid the price. He's God who brought me out. He's God who makes me sing, yes, He's God who makes me shout, I know God is God. God don't never change, I know God is God, and Jesus is His name. Amen. Did you enjoy that this morning? Had our faith built this morning, you know? I was thinking, I do that sometimes, and um, he's preaching on faith, and just this week, I know it's on Facebook, so I can say it, um, after 16 years, Brother Dwayne and Sister Heather are expecting their miracle, and that's just wonderful. <laughs> Amen, he's still a miracle-working God. We have saints here, you know, I won't start calling names, but that have been, you know, claiming their healing for years and years. It's coming. It's coming. We don't understand God's timing, but he does everything perfect. Amen. I'll tell you what, it's been good to be in church. Um, remember, no service Wednesday with Thursday being Thanksgiving. Um, spend time with families and and whatnot, so won't get to see each other's smiling faces for a week. Um, so we'll miss you till then. Um, reminder again, since I messed up the brothers this morning, mission offering in the back this morning if you had a mission offering. So I apologize for throwing them a curveball, as I'm known to do. Amen. So good to be here. Key of D. <coughs> oh, I know a man who can walk on water anytime. I know a man who can calm a storm anytime, any place, anywhere. Well, through the storm, he'll meet you there. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Rain or shine, he's on time. On time, any place, anywhere. And I know a man who can feed five thousand. 
Praise the Lord. I want to welcome our visitors. We have some visitors with us this morning. God bless you. Being in the house of the Lord with us this morning. We'll sing this as we'll be dismissed. Key of F. Well, I'm not giving up. Oh, no, I'm not turning around. By the grace of God, I'm going to wear a shining crown someday. I'll be holding on to that nail-scarred head. I'm not giving up, no, I'll be holding on. Well, I'm not giving up, oh no, I'm not turning around. By the grace of God, I'm going to wear a shining crown. I'm not giving up. 